Welcome to Quick Biology. In this episode, we're going to cover three basic types of plant cell tissues. The three types of tissues are parenchyma tissue, colonchyma tissue, and sclerenchyma tissue. Parenchyma, colonchyma, and sclerenchyma tissues are made up of parenchyma cells, colonchyma cells, fibers, and scleriods, respectively. Parenchyma cells' architecture are generally elongated and spherical. They often make up a lignified secondary cell wall that is hard with structural properties, is also impermeable to water, and has pits that allow water to pass through at specific locations. Examples of parenchyma cells include the cortex, pith, and mesophyll. These will be covered in later episodes. Colonchyma cells are not found as often in plants, but are found at specific locations at specific points in development. Colonchyma tissue is found in young developing stems and tissues. They're generally found in the area where the leaf blade attaches to the stem. Specifically, colonchyma cells are great for supporting leaves because they will continue to grow and allow other tissues to grow as well. Sclerenchyma tissue is rigid and contributes to supporting the weight of the plant. Two types of sclerenchyma tissue cells are fibers and scleriates. Fibers are sclerenchyma cells that form cylinders around stems for reinforcement. A good way to think of fibers are as long elastic cables structurally supporting a plant. Scleriates are also sclerenchyma cell types, but instead of cylinders, they come in sheets. Scleriates take numerous shapes and have cell walls with a gritty texture. They are also used for structural support. These three simple tissues will be very important in explaining much more complex plant systems. Thanks for watching this episode of Quick Biology, and please subscribe to this channel.